A 3D printer can unlock endless new possibilities for your smart home. And what surprised me is that 3D printing is actually pretty easy now. I've been printing some things for my smart home that I absolutely love. Not only is it all functional, but some of this stuff looks amazing. I used to think that 3D printers were not that useful, and I would just end up making toys for my kids. Okay, yeah, so I've made some toys for my kids. It's been a lot of fun. But they have this website called Thingiverse, and there's some really cool stuff on there. Like this cord organizer holder thing. Download the file, print it, and it costs me around 10 cents to make. If it's too big and the cord slipped through, I can just shrink the sides before printing, and it's perfect. Or this battering. Not only does it look awesome, but it's sharp, and you could probably use it as a home defense weapon. Ow, read! They even have designs for smart home devices on there. But it's not overflowing with smart home designs, and that was one of my initial concerns in buying a 3D printer. That was until my friend Ethan showed me how I can build my own designs, and it's pretty easy. So you get a caliper like this, which is only around 20 bucks, so it's not too expensive. And you can measure the exact size of smart home devices or just things around your house. So then you can just open up something like Fusion 360 and model your own designs using the measurements from the caliper and then print it, which is just incredible. I love doing this and I've been building so many things, including this mic clip that I'm wearing right now which is way better than the mic clip it came with. So now that you know you can download and build your own designs, let me show you some smart home ideas. The first thing is this little contact sensor holder that goes in your garage. And what's cool about this is that when you attach both contact sensors on here and you attach it to your garage, when the garage door opens, the little thing swivel and it will tell you if your garage door is open or closed. So you could get something like the multi-purpose sensor from SmartThings, but that thing is a little bit more money than an inexpensive contact sensor. And what's cool about this is that any contact sensor could fit on this design. I actually made this one. There's some ones on Thingiverse, but I like this hinge a little bit better because I can just print the whole thing without needing to assemble it or anything like that. People will also use these as switches. So you can put a contact sensor on here and then design it in a way that's easy to flip on and off for lights or automations. And there's this Etsy shop that sells these things. It's Idea Extruder, and I'll link it down in the description. So if you're not planning on buying a 3D printer, there's some things you can get that are really inexpensive but useful. All right, this next thing is a motion sensor holder. And if you look at this, you might be like, Reed, that thing is just a box. And you're right, it is a box, but it's the exact dimensions for this motion sensor. So I designed this. It was very, very easy to make, obviously, but I made it so that I can attach it to my nightstand and that I can angle it so it only sees my feet to turn on the light strips at night. And I've put a motion sensor underneath my nightstand before, but sometimes it was just the wrong angle or on the ground. And this is just gonna make it way easier to mount and be able to change the batteries whenever they die. So it's pretty simple, but super useful. All right, this next thing is also for my nightstand because I feel like my nightstand is always getting cluttered with stuff. So I wanted to move the Echo Dot off on the side a little bit. So I made this little mount holder, floating holder thing, and you can put the Echo Dot on there and it just clamps on to the back of my nightstand. And it works pretty well actually, but I do need to make some tweaks to it to make it stronger, maybe change the design a little bit for that. So still a work in progress, but so far it works pretty well. There's also tons of smart speaker mount designs that you can download and print. And you can put them on your outlet, on a pegboard, or just make some cool things like an R2D2 holder. If you have a ledge in your house, you can print a ramp for your robot vacuum you can even print mounts for your video doorbell so you can angle it better, even up to 90 degrees. And I know that they have these on Amazon, but it might not fit your doorbell or be exactly how you want it. For example, dashboard mounts. I bought this on Amazon and it works okay, but
but there's definitely ways I can improve it or make one for a different tablet that I want to use. So 3D printing is super useful. Now this next thing is my favorite thing. And if you remember in my old videos, I used to have this little cloud light from SwitchBot and people would ask all the time about it because they wanted a cool little light that they could use for notifications. So when I came across this cube on Thingiverse, I was like, I need to make this smart. And they made it so that you could put some light strips in there. So of course I used some smart light strips. And for the diffusion material, I'm actually using white filament and I measured squares and printed it at a half a millimeter thick, which was plenty to let out enough light. And not only does this thing look awesome, but it's also really useful because I can use it for notifications, changing the different light colors. So if someone comes to the door, I can have it flash blue, or if my phone battery is getting low, I can have it change yellow. If a package was left at the door, it can flash orange. Or if I need to start wrapping up work and get ready for dinner, then it can change to red. So there's a lot you can do with it. And I love that the light is not too bright or distracting, but it still looks incredible on the desk. So if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer, I recently bought this Ender 3 S1 and I've loved it because it's given me zero issues and everything just works out of the box. A lot of people would buy the Ender 3s and upgrade a lot of the parts and this comes with pretty much all that stuff like a better extruder, an automatic bed leveler. So you plug it in and it just works. I'm planning on adding a Raspberry Pi to this USB-C port for Octoprint so I can connect it to Home Assistant and have it connected to my smart home when prints are done and have prints automatically sent to it. I'm also using a Eufy pan and tilt cam back here to keep an eye on the print so I can check it remotely. And I also got this table slash desk on Amazon and you'd be surprised at how difficult it is to find an inexpensive desk that's also sturdy for a 3D printer. I'll link that, the filaments that I'm using, everything down in the description. And if you guys have any questions about 3D printing or have some suggestions on things to make, then let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's that? Did you print another toy for the kids? Oh no, it's this puzzle maze thing I just printed. I put a dollar in here and it's gonna take the kids a while to figure out, which is gonna give you a lot of free time without the kids. Wow, that sounds great. I give up, Dad. It's too hard. Oh, oh my goodness. Snacks. Okay, you guys snacks. want snacks. Okay, snacks. where is Dad? Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me.